All right, folks, we're back again. This is Alon Paul with a second bonus uh, instructional video, and we're going to pick pick up where we left off on the other one. Now, you notice I'm back at my little base over here. I haven't gotten anything built yet, but, you know, you can call in your ship by summoning vehicles. So rather than calling in the ship I have currently landing on the landing pad here, I'm going to go ahead and call in the other ship. You see we can select other ship, and we can call in the ship in question. So let's pull that in. And here it is. And now we get a closer look at it. You see, it's a pretty sharp looking ship, man. The Floating Talon. I love the spinning engines. I've always liked that about these ships. So really, really nice. I do like it. Again, it's got a lot of repair work to be done, but we'll be back to repair it. I'm going to keep this ship for now because I have work to do. Now, you notice that my transmission was up. I have some some communicating to do with someone so we're gonna pick that up where we left off and well let's see where we are shall we So just very very light let's hit the communicator and see what we got Artemis entity we received your signal is it first is it last time for truth you have their signal but you are not Artemis entity tell the truth your signal is familiar to Nada we have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? A proper introduction to our home. Whoa. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? You're about to enter... the anomaly. So we're gonna go ahead and ent enter the anomaly. Now, I'm not gonna cheat, but I am gonna get some more stuff. Why is that? Because I have been playing this for three years now since the first expedition started coming out uh, with the first twitch drops even uh, some of the first twitch drops as far as I know now I have multiplayer turned off so you're not going to see any of the players here but normally you would in the space anomaly but this is a great place to get things so now as the storyline goes now that I've exited the ship multiple landing pads as you can see with multiplayer turned on other people will be landing here as well um, it directs us to go up there and talk to priest entity nada but before I do so we're gonna explore a little bit so here you have the Nexus the Nexus is a mission law it gives out missions it rejects my input okay so I can't even show it to you right now okay so I'll come back later because the Nexus allows you to do uh, weekend events and stuff like that and allows you to do things that contribute towards the multiverse, if you will, as a whole, where all the players are playing. So it contributes to a certain thing that they're trying to achieve and those achievements allow us to unlock certain other Quicksilver items. Now, as you noticed in, in our inventory, we have an item called Quicksilver. It's another type of uh, monetary denomination, if you will. You have your regular ordinary main units or credits, if you will. You have nanites, of course, but then there's also Quicksilver. And Quicksilver allows you to buy things from the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Now, in here, most people will only have create exotic items from Quicksilver number one. But it also has the option of where to earn it. and It'll tell you how. Whereas you also have number three and four, Expedition Rewards and Twitch Rewards. I'm going to go straight to number four because I want to show you some things that I've gathered along the way. Now, I, can, I have access to ships that I can get and certain types of visages that I can change my character to, as well as uh, pets and companions and things like this. Uh, you have other items, too. You have um, banners that you can put on a wall. Again, other ships etc etc what I'm showing you in here see I can even get a uh, a horrific spawn as a companion isn't that pretty cool as a pet anyway I can't do that right now I've also got other things like as far as uh, multi tools and stuff like that concerned and other ships that I have I kinda like that ship a little bit not particularly care about that one this is a pretty cool weapon but again I'm not gonna get it the only things I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get the armored chest piece the armored leggings the gloves, shoulder pads, and you saw them, boots. Okay, now I could go for some other things. Like I, I like the Streamlight Jetpack unit. I usually get that as well because it's just, it's just a visible thing. It has nothing to do with uh, how well you play. Some other things. Uh, that's new. I don't remember having that. 
Very weird. Anyway. Fireworks. Yep, we got fireworks in this game too. What do you know? Sounds like another game you know of, I'm sure. Uh, wriggling Companion. It isn't actually a companion. It actually is something that you set up in a base somewhere that people can view. Uh, bubble Trails. You can get different trails for your jetpack. Um, I have one that I specifically like a lot better. This is a mechanical companion that you can get. These are really cool pets. They're machines. Really awesome. Um, very fast usually too and they're just so cool to find. But anywho, moving along. Uh, I like the battle mask, the first spawn golden golden first spawn battle mask. Not going to get it at this time. Ghastly Trail if you want to get that. I'm going to get the, just the regular first spawn battle mask because I just like the way it looks. Um, Starship Trails, worry about it later. Figurines, I'll worry about them later because they do, these figurines actually, you put them on your ship and they actually do add pluses to certain items. Um, I don't know them all. You can watch Zane's World. I'm sure he has a whole, a whole rendition of it. Zane is very good at that stuff. And the Hiawatha Destiny is a pretty cool ship too. So I've got all the things I wanted to get out of this one, but we're going to take one more look at the Twitch drops. Uh, Expedition, pardon me, Expedition Rewards. Um, you can get cloaks and stuff like that. I do like the cloaks, don't get me wrong, but I'm going to hold off on getting a cloak this time. Uh, let's see. Give me just a moment here. I love the Temporal Starship Trail. It looks really cool. The Exotic Wing Pack is pretty cool because the wings actually flip out when you, you know, but that's not important. I'm not going to get that one. The Outlaw Cape, Tattered Cape, love that. I might have some plans for that in my future. Quad egg, so you get a sentinel spawn quad. Isn't that cool? You can also get a sandworm. Really cool stuff. Ah, the reality glitch trail for my jetpack. I gotta have that. Again, I got the horrific spawn over here too. And there's some other stuff in here. I don't think I need anything. The golden vector is a special that was given out at the very first expedition. Um, and you got the golden vector. So it's an S-Class ship. I am not going to grab it because that's pushing at things a little bit too far in regards to how far we really want to go. So anyway, that should be enough. If I go just to the regular one, I'm going to show that real quick, number one. You go through everything. You can, you can differentiate what items you have, building parts, gestures, appearances, and things that you just don't own yet. This is one of the things that are being unlocked through the, oh, that is a really cool cape. That's being unlocked right now through the weekend missions. If we don't get it this weekend, we'll get it next weekend. And as you can see, the progress at the top, 15%. Once it gets to a certain point, once it gets up to 100%, we'll all be able to get one. So, and I guarantee you, you're going to see it on everybody. Uh, freighter trails, all kinds of neat uh, bite beat chips, so you can get some uh, some music and stuff like that. And a lot of other, 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 other stuff. So, let's get out of there. I think I've shown you enough. So I'm not going to talk to anybody up here yet. I'm going to go to the quest line, but you know what? I'm really getting tired. This whole outfit that I'm wearing is kind of tired looking. So let's upgrade my appearance. Uh, I, I like Anomaly. I could go Gek, Viking, Corvax, Traveler, but I really like the Anomaly better. For some reason, I've always liked it. I always choose shape number three. I don't know why. The slender, slender shape is something I've always liked. Um, I'm going to get my first spawn battle mask. Uh, you, you know what? We're going to start changing colors too. Uh, so let's, I, I don't mind the yellows, but I really prefer blues better. Um, let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Not bad. Let's switch around the black and the blue real quick. I like the helmet better, black, blue, like that with the yellow eyes. Okay, torso. We're going to go with the armored chest piece, of course. Uh, we're going to add the exit... X, uh, the extra accents. So we're going to try to keep the colors the same. Blue, black, and I'm going to go with yellow over here for accents. Armor. Number five, the armored shoulder pads, the accent power colors. They don't really change much over here. We're going to go blue. So you can see it's got this dark look to it. It's kind of really cool looking if you ask me. Let's keep it going. Blue, black, yellow. Five, the armored leggings. Blue, black, yellow. Boots, armored boots. Blue, black, 
yellow. You can do whatever colors you want, of course. And then the backpack. And I'm going to choose the Reality Glitch Trail, and I'm going to go with the Streamline Get Jetpack Unit. It looks really cool. Come on. I could go with a Flowing Cape. Yeah, it's kind of not giving you the proper graphics right now. So let's stick with this. Uh, stripes is fine. Blue, black, yellow. So that's kind of cool. But let's change things up a little bit. All black. Should we add some yellow as a brightness on the back of it? I kind of like that. I like that idea. All right, let's look at the rest. Should we change it up a little bit? I do kind of like that a little bit better. I don't know. I guess she looks kind of female, huh? Let's go to change up the body shape a little bit. Yeah, that looks a little better. I don't know. Legs. Should we change it around? Oh, yeah. You know what? That actually does look better. Okay. I'll stick with that. Banner. Um, doesn't match anything at all. Let's... Uh yeah, it looks good. Um, Mercenary Guild. Uh, pirate. Nah, let's go Pirate. Title. Uh, I've got most of the titles so far. I've been working on them lately. So you'll see I don't have too many that are locked. i got to get the Corvax and the Merchant's Guild, Explorer's Guild, and Mercenary's Guild all up to snuff. Haven't figured out how to get these yet. The timeless is is a weird unlockable one. It takes a while to get that. Uh, explore other with others together. I can do that another time. Pain of the echoes and meet the challenge of the hurt. I still have to look up and figure out how to do those. Telemon's eyes is a very different way of looking at things. But the one I always go with is once I find it, I probably passed it. The incinerated. He 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 he. Unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Yes, I missed it. Hold on. We'll find it. Stay with me. Is the. Come on. The wanted? Yeah, that's pretty good. Undaunted. Master, Starfighter, Chief, Pauker. Okay, guest. I'm a guest? Okay, well, that's good. The Immortal. I go with the Immortal. I changed, I finished it in permadeath mode. So that was an interesting run. But here we go. The Immortal. We hit yes. Alright, let's continue on with the quest. So we got this. Reality Glitch Trail. I kind of like that. And we'll get a cloak later. So we we're supposed to go over here and talk to Nada. Priest Entity Nada. I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes? Polo's own design. A perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond vengeful Corvax. Nada watches time come and go. So let's ask about Artemis. A traveler entity. Perhaps they are known to you? I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us, highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. The Corvax watches me. There is patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. Let's ask about Nada. Nada awoke with the death of Corvax Prime, could not understand why such things happen, why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The convergence does do not see through my eyes. That's how the Corvax speak, by the way, through the convergence. So he's separate from them, and I wonder about the design of his helmet, this circle on top of his head being a complete circle, whether he communes with himself, if you will. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo Friend. Now many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada happy. Nada's carapace pulses with a gentle light. There is something familiar about them. I ask about Polo. Polo Friend found Nada, found my signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals, makes others safe. Okay. The station has been calling to me since I woke up on the planet. Perhaps it called to Artemis as well. Let's ask about the space station. Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free, free like Nada, to observe 
to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. Let's leave. Speak with Polo, friend traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. So, let's walk over and talk to Polo, friend. Specialist Polo. Friends everywhere, if only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Artemis, friend. You are where they should be. Does not seem possible, but all things are possible. Such is the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. Ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. Yeah, Polo is definitely special. So you follow this course real quick because you're going to get some good things out of it. Um, so see, it's directing us to this guy. Please don't talk to them before you talk to Nada and Polo because it will wreck this particular whole iteration here. So let's talk to Helios. Ah, young one, you who still roam the boundaries of this universe, how I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. Yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery, so give your data. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please, take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. You don't get much from him. I got, what, 180? That's not bad. It's pretty good stuff. But, little hint, talk to this guy once in a while as you go around your travels. Ares gives a lot more, usually. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. I will help and exchange progress for progress. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials, both valid. Today, living pearls. So if you can turn in living pearls, he'll give you stuff. He'll give you nanites and things like that. It's usually really not worth it. He also has upgrades here, but they're usually cheap. They're pretty low end. So, I transmit milestone data. data. You've seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please take this. And what does he give me? Almost a thousand nanites this guy just gave me. So we're looking pretty good at 6,000 nanites, wouldn't you say? So we got a couple other people over here we can talk to. It doesn't direct us there just yet, but let's go ahead and talk to Gemini. Hello, have we met? I don't believe so. I'm Gemini. This is Hesperus. Ask about Gemini. Me? I'm just staying here, just for a little while. Polo and Nada are very kind to all their friends. Gemini glances toward the being at their side, their golden eyes contemplative. If it weren't for Hesperus, I'd probably still be alone out there, drifting from world to world, entire galaxies to discover, no one to share it with. I've never found genuine company in the others. Even the Gex, for all their talk of friendship, they all seem to want something. Hesperus is different. They've been a true companion to me. It was a pleasure meeting you. Say hello if you pass through again. We'll be right here, more than likely. There's nothing else that they really do. I've never noticed anything. But who knows, maybe Hello Games has something planned. Salutations. The sharp-eyed being stares at me, unblinking. They tell me their name, Hesperus, but rush through the words as though nuisanced by the introduction. Their focus is on me. Tell me, stranger, who exactly are you? A wanderer? A traveler? Say you are a traveler. Hesperus mustache quivers when I mirror the term they have chosen. Traveler. The word hangs in the air. I believe we tread parallel paths, you and I, and yet, quite impossibly, we have met. Let us not make this our only encounter. Leave. You can come back and, and interact with them later, and they sometimes have different messages, but I haven't really done a whole lot. So let's head back both this way, and we're going to head in here. It directs us towards this spot over here. Now, one thing you're going to notice, you'll see that there's a little unit over here for an exosuit upgrade. In every single galaxy that you visit, pardon me, solar system that you visit, when you visit the space station, you get your exosuit upgrade, right? Well, if you pop in the anomaly, you can get a second upgrade for every system you get, and you can always get it there. So let's go ahead and upgrade again. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this block out, 30,000 that time. And then I'm talking to this like it's directing me. This is Exosuit Research. He gives you a lot of the upgrades. And you'll get some upgrades as the storyline goes automatically handed to you. But it's not a bad idea to get some others as you go. Now it's directing us to buy one. Hmm. I don't know. Um, 
I mean, I could upgrade again. I've already got the neural stimulator, so there's no reason to get that again. Rocket boots, I'm not really... I hate those things. They drive me up the wall. Uh, water jets, that's okay. I would love to get the airburst engine one of these days. Because that's actually hand, handy. Uh, if you're falling a long distance, you might get a, a little booster charge in there that you can use. So, all right. Let's go ahead and go with... Uh, let's see. Ah... Uh, all these upgrades, all these upgrades. Let's just get Hazmat Gauntlet for now. We would probably get it later on anyway. So that's handy for picking up certain plants. But there's other things in there. If you take another look at this, and he'll go through the other crap again. Um, the personal refiner is really handy to have. It just takes up a spot in your technology, yes. But it's really handy to have that on your person for emergency purposes. You will get that in the quest line automatically. So you will be handed that. And the trade rocket is very handy as well. It allows you to trade with the space station at the top-notch prices from a distance. So you can sit on the planet. You're going to get rid of a bunch of stuff. You drop a trade rocket down real quick. Very handy. Again, I'm probably not going to do that at this point in time. So that's all we get here. But you notice it's pointing over here at this. So I'm going to go ahead, yeah, they're driving me nuts. Let's go take a look at the construction research. Now there are many pages here between all the different things. I have 20 salvage data. Let's go to power real fast. Like I said, a lot of cosmetic items too for your, for your bases. So I do want to get this to hide, uh, to cloak certain things. Um, I do want to get a switch. Not that one. I like the floor switch better, so I'll spend one extra on that. I would love to get this at some point, but I'm going to hold off on getting the electromagnetic generator for now. It's going to start another quest line I don't want to start at the moment. So let's continue on and go back. Now you see we have the timber walls that we've been building. I'm going to get a ramp because I prefer to have that. And you can do other roofs and stuff like that. I'm not going to do that right now. Where is storage container you can get? I'm going to, uh, trust me, hold off on it. You're going to get it for free later. Uh, this. It's not the room I'm interested in. It's not even that. It is this item right here. Cuboid room frame. It allows you to spill your base up off the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. Now it leaves me with 12. Um, I'd like to have my own landing pad. But I'd also like to have my own medium refiner. I don't know which one to get. I'm going to get the landing pad for, for now because that's handy to have. Um, we'll get the medium refiner later. In fact, we might get that as a part of our quest line if I remember correctly. But the landing pad is, much, is, is a very handy thing to have. Um, signal booster we'll get as well as a gift. We don't need it right now, so I'm going to hold off on it. And that'll save me with two salvage data for the time being. So it's going to go through everything. I should talk to Nada again, but I'm going to go to Starship Research. Why? Because I want to get a weapon, and that is the Inferknife Accelerator. Ah, oh, they always kick you out on the first run. Um, and the Q Resonator, which goes with the Inferknife Accelerator. Now, the other stuff you can get to, really, don't waste your time on the rockets, but if you want to get the Positron Ejector, which is extremely damaging up close, these are extremely damaging from much, much further away. You also have all your drives, your launch thrusters, extra shields, your economy scanner. You will get a whole bunch of these as you go through the storyline. Hold off on it. I know it seems to be worth it to go ahead and get your efficient thrusters and your launch auto charger. Just wait. Trust me, it'll work out in the end. You can get them early on if you get enough nanite clusters, but there's no reason for it for the time being. So we're going to take a walk over here. Here is your multi-tool guy. You'll notice that he has a multi-tool in here. It does change from system to system. Meh. Not really worth my time. Multi-tool research is, though, very handy. Let's take a look. Now, i got a weapon I really like a lot better than most of the other things, so I'm going to research it right now, and that is the pulse spitter. A lot of people don't like the Pulse Spitter as much as some. They prefer the uh, Scatter Blaster like I've already got, and that's fine. Scatter Blaster is a good weapon. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's really only good up close. So you got to be careful with it. Um, but the Pulse Spitter, man, it's just something so wonderful about this 
particular item and to get all the three extra upgrades it just takes forever to get this guy to stay here all right good and there's the voltaic amplifier you see it's a generalized upgrade for the multi tool weapon system it gives a electromagnetic field that gives like an electric stun to any creature as you shoot them with your regular weapon so when i shoot my pulse spitter at them the very first uh, ball of energy that comes out is supercharged and electrocutes them and gives extra damage over time so it's a very handy item to have um, the other thing I'd like to get, I would love to get, let me just take a look. I'd love to get the optical drill, but you are going to get it in the storyline. So you can go further with that if you wish, but there's no reason to do so at this time. So you'll notice that it has the plasma launcher, you have the geology cannon, and the paralysis mortar. The paralysis mortar is very handy to have. You shoot one of those at, some, at, at a group of creatures, and they all stun for a short period of time. So you can take them out. I'm not going to worry about it at this time. I'll get it later. Uh, I do want to save my nanites for upgrades to the ships later on, like S-Class upgrades and X-Class upgrades as we go. So this is where we end up. I think we're going to be good here for now. I think I've got enough. Um, here, just so you know, is learning new plot product recipes. So you can unlock recipes like the microprocessor and all these other things. Hold off on it. You're going to get a lot of these through the quest line as well okay and you got your my exocraft research but we're not, we don't even have one yet it's going to be a while before we get one so let's continue the storyline we're about a half hour in talk to nada one more time yeah stop pointing at me nada and polo drift between worlds and worlds there are many have you seen them traveler friend nada wishes they could nada regrets much ask what to do Traveler Entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis Entity, explore with others, travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, Traveler Entity. We will aid you. Others will aid you also, even if you seek the Crimson Lair. So you can go to the Crimson Lair, which is basically the Atlas, if you want to go that route. You can also ask for help for explore exploration, but for do the real storyline, just the main one, stick with Ask for Artemis. So ask for help with Artemis. Of course, Nada has a small gift for you. Perhaps it will help. Perhaps not. Not a polo friend will continue to search. Speak to us whenever you desire. Okay, so he gave me 120 nanites. That was very nice. Speak to Nada. I mean, Polo. We were so lonely, Nada and I, before we found each other. Before we found you, friend. All of you. So many friends to share this time with. You feel the same, I hope. Leave. So we're done talking to them. We're going to continue the search for, the, for Artemis, as it says. Um, it will occasionally tell you to jump back to the anomaly during your quest line. A lot of guys will jump back out of that and jump back to the main quest again. Do what it says and go to the anomaly. Because every time you visit Nada during the quest line, he gives you 150 Quicksilver every single time you stop by. Not every time, but only when it tells you to. So you can end up with about, uh, I forgot how much it is, I think it's almost a thousand or more Quicksilver by the time the expedition is over. Or, pardon me, the quest line is over. So, here we go. Can we choose this now? Yep. So you'll see that there is missions now. So you can choose these missions anytime you want. Um, but you get these missions uh, only on special days. You see this little item over here? It indicates that you get Quicksilver from it, and you can only do them up to three times. So you have this one that gives you 1,800 Quicksilver. When I say three times, you can't do the quest, that specific quest, three times. It means you can do three Quicksilver quests, all total, up to three. And here's the reason why. So you have this one that you can do. Uh, I'm not going to do it yet. I know it's a weekend event for 33 hours, but I'll do it on my main save. And then you have another one, which is for 400 Quicksilver, and you get storage augmentation. Kind of worthwhile, uh, including the multi-two slots. That's pretty good stuff, too. So you can elis eliminate hazardous flora, flora, uh, flora, flora, and these quests always circulate. So uh, at the top of the hour, a new quest will appear. Why do I say three? Because if you look up here, when I back away, you'll see that there's three icons. That means I've been playing the game at least three days without going through a quest. So it gives me up to three times to do those quests. Once I've done three of them, they eliminate and I can't do any more Quicksilver quests for another 24 hours. So keep that in mind. So that's what that means. 
So let's move back over here. So you'll notice that there was other things here. So you got other creatures and other beings you can talk to, a few others. Uh, up in here, you can get to it via other means too, but my jetpack is really good, so I'm going to fly up. You come through that door, and you'll see that there's a teleportation device. You can go back to your base from here if you wish. Um, or any base for that matter. But one of the things that they always do here in the anomaly, this is part of Hello Games in this teleporter, is it has featured featured things that people have been building. These are community highlights. These are people who have gone out of their way to build some huge builds that are absolutely so detailed and wonderful to look at. Feel free to jump over there, take a look around. They're really, really cool looking most most times. I've seen Beeble Bum up here a couple times too on some of his builds. So watch for those. You can go to other bases and other space stations and stuff like that if you wish. Recently visited places. But when it shows all, you'll see literally everything. So I'm going to go back to my current base via my ship. So we're going to go the usual method. This guy's part of another storyline, but you'll deal with that later. I'll show you him later on. All right. We're half hour in. Let's search for Artemis. We are... Yep. Okay. On our way. All righty. So let's wait just a couple moments. There we go. And look who it is. Unknown signal. Z where? Is there anyone out there? It's outside. It, something's wrong with... Identify yourself. I tell the stranger that I can hear them. There's a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You, you found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? Say you found a crashed ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned shipwreck and how I found their communicator ID and the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like... Ask about the 16. Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You... It lied to me. It lied to all of... The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on, silent, before it too fades into nothingness. End communication. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. Locate a long-distance transmitter. So we'll hit C. Scan. And... Did it change? It sure did. <laughs> okay. A hollow terminus has been detected. It is where? It is not on the planet where my base is. Where in the world? Okay, I'm going down here. I'm out of the way. Ah, yep, it's on the other planet. No? Okay, that was weird. Okay, I don't know what to think of that. Alright. Locate a long distance transmitter. Now, these are weird looking platforms, and you can usually see them as you get close. I know it says approximate location, but usually as you approach, just keep your eyes peeled, which is why I like this particular mode. And sometimes you do a scan. Yep, see, that? that's it. That's it. That's the transmitter right there. And they have a landing pad, so you don't have to use any launch fuel. Here we go. So, hey, while we're here... Alright. Let's see what we got here. No, I didn't want to do that one. That's okay. It's always got good stuff anyway. Got a Gek Relic. Okay, good. While we're here, of course, you always want to get this stuff while you're at it. Okay. And 
two, three, four. Nice. I'll have enough for that medium refiner. Come on. And some more nanites. Do we have anything in here? Nothing in there. And anything in here. Let's get some more nanites. Let's get some credits. Get some more navigation data. Yeah, 1100 credits. That's not bad. All right. Now, let's see how high we can get with our boosters. Because we've got a lot of booster upgrades. Can we get to the top? We can. Sweet. It's nice to have so many booster upgrades this early on. So we'll have to repair this the first time we use it. Traffic low. Okay, there are no incoming calls currently registered with the Hollow Terminus. Log from previous calls are available. It's access logs. Gra. Leave. Um, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's not... Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. One of nine. Oh, that's just so annoying. So it wants me to find a different hollow terminus. Apparently. Apparently this one's just simply not good enough. Two. We got water on this planet, so the other creatures that we're going to find are going to be underwater, I guarantee you. I don't see any flying creatures. Alright, let's go to my ship. Pain in the neck. Really thought this was going to be it. Yeah, sure enough, there's another hollow terminus. Unbelievable. Never seen two that close together before. Alright guys, we're at the hollow terminus. Hey, let's go over here. Let's do this first. Deja vu. I feel like I've done this before. What is going on? So. Eh, I'll grab it anyway. Even though my health is probably at maximum, yeah. Yep, go over here. Open this up. See, at this point in the game, I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this. Just because it's it's a good habit to be in for the time being. Yeah, they don't have a credit transfer in this one. Hey, I wonder if it's in the other one. Let's take a look. Uh, nope, we got a specimen, though. Good deal. Okay, let's get the blah, blah, blah. Buried. There we go. And, hey, I wonder if my jetpack will reach. Well, what do you know? It's nice to have all these upgrades. Okay, I've had enough of that crap. Let's go. So what did I say before? Hey, the first time we use this, it's going to ask us to repair it. And we need, let's go for sodium nitrate. There we go. Holo Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to reestablish connection to Artemis. Tuned to Artemis' frequency. I try to locate Artemis' frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. And... Thunk. Stand here. Look, there's Artemis. Who? Who's there? You. It's you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream. Say you hope so. I'm sorry, it's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... It's easy to create a bitter reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry, I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker for my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Ask who they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? Ask how they know. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star with a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within, the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see the stranger's first breath yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness, I hear it said. 
Anomaly detected. Designation Traveler. Awaken. What I showed you just now, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to to finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from the crashed ship? Mention Nada. Who? Uh, please, I have to see that data. Don't toy with me. I don't have time. Upload the data. It's very disturbing he doesn't remember Nada, though. I upload, upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crashed vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I'm alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me. But this ship found you. It belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across the system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll be able to find my way out, and you'll get all the answers you seek. Agree with the plan. Thank you, Traveler. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Stick around just in case, because sometimes other things happen. So see, we got the signal booster I was thinking about getting. So now we've got it. I need a metal plate. I've already got the carbon nanotubes and the sodium. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create the metal plate real quick. So we've got that. Um, ship is that way. Whee! All right, let's create the signal booster. And here it is. Okay, I'm going to activate it, triangulate position. Okay, now in the past when I was first playing the game, I thought I had to leave it here. But you don't have to. Pick it up. Take it with you, folks. So pick this, jump back in my ship. And on our merry little way. And where's the next spot? Looks like it's over there. Now sometimes... Nope, oh, have to get a little higher. And here we go. Okay, oh, looks like we're going over here to the moon where my base is. All right. Now what I'll do is in between, I may go ahead and get that ship repaired up a little bit. And I'll start using it instead. Look at that. We have a crashed ship here, folks. I'll be darned. It looks like a hauler, too. Those are expensive. Two hundred and sixty away, but I want to check this out because oh, for crying out loud, it's another one of those. Yep, there's someone there. Ah, oh, you suck. Okay. Uh, let's see, 252. Now, your jetpack does use your life support. Keep that in mind. So, charge that up once in a while. Eh, what do you know? It picked here. So, while we're here, let's, uh, so we've got the carbon nanotube already. Yeah, okay. Yep, missed. Try that again. All right, where are we gonna upgrade? Uh, I want to go here. That's been driving me nuts. Okay, so this looks like the spot, right? Let's get the signal booster dropped and triangulate. Okay. Grab these things while we're here. I know, it's a habit. Okay, let's go back to my ship. It's not far away, so. It really is a nice looking planet, isn't it? Hi, guys. All right. And off we go. Get that ship fixed, dude. Useless. Hey, 
There we go. Boom. I can't wait to get a... Uh, I mean, I like the fighter ship and all like that, but I really like solar ships a lot more. Go down a little bit. A little bit of fancy flying. Whee! Yeah, it's alright. Sometimes they will probe your ship, and if you're carrying any illegal substances, they will attack you. Ooh, what this? Let's see what this is. What? What did I get hit by? Annoying. Uh, three, four. Okay, so it's four, four. That's going to be number three. Yeah, they found something. That's all. All right, I think we got everything out of here. Let's move on. Hey, while we're here, what's next? Blah, blah, blah. Get more out of this. I'll get some more nanites. Oh, life support module. Hey, that's good. Nice. All right. Good, good, good. That's a nice little upgrade. Glad we got it. All right. Good deal. All right. And let's go ahead and place it down, shall we? Triangulate position. Okay. Three of nine. Four of nine. Trust me, we stick around the system long enough, we will find everything. Okay. That's uh, five of nine. Yeah, 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 I know it's falling. Just to take a look around one more time. All right, I think we're good. Ah, again? to get the other weapons installed or get my other ship repaired anyway oops oh come on where'd you go there you are Anything? Lightning beam module. Well, I'll take that. Uh, I guess that goes there. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, where to? Uh, return to space. Up we go. Oh, those pirates, man. I've never been so many times. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger, and here we are, aren't we? 
Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data, let's find each other. End communication. Opie dopey. We do that. It'll tell us where one is. Come on. There you go. Back on my home planet. I think it's the same place I started out at. And if it says approximate location, I'm going to be pissed. Nope. We got a good one here. All right, here we go. All the way up. Next floor, Artemis. Oh, my feet! Ah! Sorry, just kidding. Hello, Artemis. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Confirm. Excellent. We're getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own. A star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. And communication. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. So, Artemis Translator. I need copper and we need a microprocessor. So, we're going to construct that. Again, we're starting to run out of room in here. As much as I'd like to get the one, two, three, four, five, six more upgrades, I'm going to start building this one up next. So, let's go ahead and add it in. That's going to be. Here it is. So, we have the copper, but we don't have the microprocessor. And it's going to tell us to get one from the space station, I'm sure. Uh, okay. Pretty sure I can't construct my own. Yeah, I didn't think so. How much? Okay. All righty. Let's head back to my base because I know they've got microprocessors there. Bring new see what happens? Bring news of Artemis to Nada. So let's do that. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in regards to the Quicksilver now. So whenever it tells you to do that, do it. Because that's important. Back to the anomaly. There's nobody here. You have to park me the furthest away, huh? All right. Hi, Nada. I love the greeting he gives. Nada saw a signal, traveler friend. Did you connect with Artemis Entity? Tell Nada about Arte Artemis. Artemis friend wishes to meet other travelers, but they have. It seems Artemis friend has forgotten Nada. Curious. It is good to help this Entity, traveler friend, but Nada advises caution. Ask who Artemis is. Artemis Entity was, is, a traveler entity, one like you. Nada had made them safe. They were known to Nada. This Entity may be Artemis Entity, but a different iteration another way for Artemis entity to be or fraud the universe does not like our little home we do not acknowledge their rules and they would punish us ah so he thinks it could be that uh, an imposter maybe but that doesn't seem to be the case we notice he gave me 150 quicksilver there and some more nanites uh, Nada friend guides lost anomalies to our home makes him safe from the crimson hunter Nada is a great friend indeed we're also going to ask about Artemis Perhaps Artemis' friend has forgotten us. That would be sad. Or, 
I will think that Artemis' friend has traveled somewhere when they have not met us yet. Whoa, talk about mind-blowing. Time-space continuum crap? All right, buddy. Whatever you say. Okay, so we're going to head back. And we'll be ending this particular run very soon. So hopefully you picked up some more tips and tricks along the way. Um, again, I'm going to try to repair my ship, but I've got some things i got to do after this. And I may come back and do a permadeath run, but we'll see. All right. So our next objective is here. So we have to construct the translator. Where's my base at? Uh, should be... Hello, base. Am I facing the base? I've got to be able to see it. I must be going nuts. There it is. Okay, it was just in the clouds there. I couldn't make it out. There we go. There we go. So we're going to construct this uh, translator that Artis wants us to use. And then we'll continue another day, another time, another place spot. Uh, place, place spot, place, place, place spot. Words. And we'll use more words. And maybe even more words. Okay, so now we can fix this. Translator is now active. Okay, good deal. So we have a signal booster. I'm going to put this on my on my starship right now. Put you back up here. Okay. So we're in pretty good shape, I think, so far. We're, we've pretty pretty much gotten along this. Um, this whole thing really well I think it's going very well and what we'll do is we're gonna continue on in the next episode uh, just want to point out something real quick um, in the objectives so you notice that instead of this the sole objective of doing the Artemis storyline I now have the Atlas path if I wish to follow that and I can also do more stuff with the space anomaly okay now in order to continue to help Artemis I have to be on this particular quest so you stay on the primary mission. You have secondary missions that you can do, like installing the advanced mining laser. Uh, you can go to the base computer and get the archives, uh, community research, and an exploration guide for, for doing more exploring on your own. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, I need a carbon nanotube, a hermetic seal, and two wiring looms. So let's do that. A hermetic seal and we need two wiring looms it should be not here okay this guy had them he should have three uh, three okay we'll just take the two and we're gonna put it right here and we have a hermetic seal we got the carbon nanotube we got the two wiring looms you'll see now it's installed and that means our quest is complete and that should disappear here in just a minute wait for that to go away at the top left and see all gone base computer archives we don't have to go to a different system we should be able to access it from this see how it's highlighted so let's go ahead and do that too let's see what it tells us Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered 6%. New data available. Now, it's a good idea to go ahead and go through these when you get a chance. Whenever you're at your base real quick, go ahead and do it real fast because it gives you an opportunity to search the archives and it gives you more stuff. Found additional buried technology modules. Construction proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition yielded stuff. Copying data to wherever. Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. So we're going to search those. Base technology data extracted, downloading plans. What are we getting? Storage containers. Remember I told you, don't buy them. Because you automatically get one for free. And then when you establish your base later on and you get a base overseer, he will give you the other nine. So those are going to be awesome for you. 
uh, readable archive retrieval complete, beginning defragmentation, defragmentation of next segment. So we leave there. Now it's not actually going to do that because it's waiting for you to construct the storage container. So see what it entails. It requires 35 magnetized ferrite. You remember I have like 50 on board my ship and 20 sodium. So let's go ahead and build it right now. So let's put this... I'm going to put it over here just to get it out of the way. I think right on I don't have any power for it. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Now, of course, we don't have any power for it because we haven't built any power for, for things yet. But it becomes a very easy thing to have. Let's get the power going real fast. I need metal plating and I need gold, which I don't have. All right, we'll do a biofuel reactor real quick just so you can see the interior of this thing just real fast uh, we'll put it right here I will get something later to make it more permanent I know that's kinda cheesy looking and we'll put uh, I don't know put some oxygen in there so then you go in here and you see I have all these slots for storing things in so if there's anything in your inventory you're not going to be using, go ahead and store it in there. See? I'm going to hang on to that because I'm ac actually going to use this part, but I'm going to sell it for nanites. But it gives you a rough idea. You can also do a quick transfer by hitting X, and it'll immediately put it in there, and you can transfer things back. So very handy. Um, they've really changed it up a little bit because it's actually easier to use now. So... Uh, it doesn't just automatically put things in and out real fast, but you got 50 slots in each storage container So when you get all 10, yeah, that's pretty nice, huh? 500 extra slots Storage forever. So there you are folks. So like I said, I'm gonna try to work on getting this ship fixed up in my next uh, be in between episodes and I will do a permadeath run later not right now um, So I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, oh, I get creature pellets. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to get myself a friend. Okay, so he's become a friend. So we're going to interact with it and we're going to adopt as a companion. Guess what? We have ourselves a new creature adopted. Sabusito. Now the good thing to do is to right away gently pat them get their love up and if you have the extra food give a treat and get their food all the way maxed out alright and then guess what you get to do you can ride this guy, bad boy and you see what I mean now if you hold the shift button down like you're running look how fast you go and you steer by going left and right you don't use your mouse you have to lean left and right A and B you can face in the direction you want to go, but he's not going to go that way until you hit the A button. Or pardon me, in this case, A and D. And he's just super, super fast. Look how far away from my base I am. It's ridiculous. Literally 600 units away with very little hustle. And you notice the running icon, it does go down, but it recharges fast. So if I let go, with, so if I tap it again, it goes up real fast. And there we go. And when you want to dismount, you just hit the E button. Don't forget to hit them again before you hit the ground. And you can dismiss them. Just go back to your creatures. Companion register is in there, but you can feed them or you can dismiss them. And he's gone. And he disappears. He's not there anymore. And you can just call him anytime you want. You see? Roar! We'll come back later. Pretty cool stuff. Anywho, let's go ahead and save my game. I'm going to jump back out. Appreciate you all being here. Uh, see, my usual sign-off would be uh, always be kind to everybody around you. We can always be kind. Uh, never criticize kindness. And, of course, uh, be truthful to everyone and everyone around you, including yourself, and starting with yourself, too. And uh, thank you again for watching. Hit the like button if you get a chance. And, again, I uh, appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next episode.